kilos under the seat. Okay. And she got a bunch of money in her purse. Okay. Ohio is known for one of the strongest highway drug seizure programs in the country. Trooper Gerald March hits the Interstate 70 freeway with the criminal patrol team, and they pull over a driver at first for a minor violation and driving erratically. We're looking around that vehicle the whole time. We're looking around the vehicle for signs of tampering. We're looking around the vehicle for things that might seem out of the ordinary. Troopers discover a brick of suspected drugs hidden in the back seat. They look for places the so-called mules might stash contraband. How can I fool law enforcement? The driver had thousands of dollars of cash in a fuzzy sock on the passenger seat. OHSP later finds a second brick of suspected heroin under the passenger side mat. Hopefully, you know, trying to prevent an overdose or, uh, or someone to begin a habit that could affect them detrimentally for their entire life. In 2016, troopers seized 167 pounds of heroin. That would be about 2 million doses on the street. This year, the number of drug violations are on the rise. We feel that we're making an impact to try to make Ohio a safer place, to try to make our country a safer place. One space in your speed, a little bit above the posted speed limit. Not all the stops find something illegal. Trooper March says it's all about keeping people safe. Right about 75, ma'am. This couple on the way to a funeral got a warning for speeding. They were grateful for the safety forces and asked Trooper March to take a selfie with them. While none of these stops are routine, troopers say you never know when you'll find danger or have to make a drug arrest. We're hoping that, you know, we're impacting somebody's family, somebody's children, somebody's mother and father in a positive way. The patrol and the DEA say they're now partnering on the case. We aren't naming the suspect until she's charged.